you guys, Will here. So I wanted to share with you today a little known but very easy way that you can potentially boost the performance of your PC. So whether you're gaming or sim racing like what we're doing here, or maybe doing some high-end tasks like photo editing or video editing, this will hopefully benefit you. If you're doing just things like web browsing or general desktop kind of duties on your PC, this probably isn't the video for you and I wouldn't recommend doing this. But basically, what we're doing here is enabling a hidden power option within the Windows control panel. And this disables a lot of the scaling and things that happen in the background by default in Windows. Things like CPU voltage and clock speed reduction, switching on and off devices in the background as well, which can sometimes cause some people some issues with disconnecting peripherals while playing games. Uh, also things like micro stuttering inside games can be helped by this too. So let's just jump straight in and get this done. So by default, most people would know by now you do have power options within Windows. So if you hit your Windows key and type in control panel or start to type it, you'll see control panel show up there. Hit enter. And then if we go across to power options, by default, we can see we've got our balanced, which is what would normally be selected when you install Windows. A lot of people jump in and change that to high performance straight out of the box. And then under additional power plans, we also have a power saver mode as well. So all of those profiles that you can see there, including the high performance one, do allow different power states on the PC. And because that's a reactive system, which reacts to the load on the PC and then adjusts the amount of power available dependent on that, what that means is that there is always gonna be that tiny little bit of latency, that little bit of delay between when the system demands that extra power and when it actually becomes available. And that can contribute to things like micro stuttering inside games, for example. So that's what we don't wanna have. So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump down into the video description. There's a little line of code there, I guess you could call it a little string, which we're gonna copy onto our clipboard. I've got it on my screen here as well. So I'm gonna copy that, Control C. We'll close that off again. And we're gonna also close this control panel for now too. So we close that. We're gonna hit our Windows key on our keyboard again. We're gonna type in CMD. We're gonna right click on Command Prompt and run as administrator. That's very important. This won't work if you don't run as administrator. So click on that. And then we're gonna accept the user account control prompt if it pops up for us. And that will bring up a command prompt with elevated permissions. As you can see here, administrator command prompt. We're gonna press control V for paste. And you can see that string that we copied onto our clipboard before is now there. We're gonna hit enter and you should see power scheme, GUID, blah, 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 ultimate performance. So then we can close off our command prompt. We're gonna go back into control panel again. So windows key, start typing control panel. And you can see it there, hit enter go back to our power options again. And now we can see under our menu here, ultimate performance. So when we click on this guy, it's gonna disable all those power states. It's gonna run the CPU at 100% voltage and clock speed, dependent on obviously what you have set inside your BIOS. We'll cover overclocking and how you can extract more performance out of your system that way in a future video. So look, don't expect absolute wonders here. It's not gonna give you massive increases in performance or anything like that. But what it will do is hopefully reduce those instances of little things like micro stuttering. Might give you a couple of extra frames per second. Should also help alleviate issues like USB devices becoming disconnected mid game and things like that. So let me know how it goes for you guys. Let me know if it makes a difference down in the comments below. Hope you found it helpful. If you have, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well for future quick tip videos like this. Thanks very much for watching guys. We'll see you again soon. Bye.